Good morning. I haven't filmed any of my like low vibrational days and I just feel like it's cause it's like sappy and weird, but I feel like I got convicted cause I'm just like, God, I feel like God wants to use my testimony and that includes including like vulnerable moments and like sad moments and not just like, it'll get better. Da -da -da. This is me trying. This is one of those days like, I've been feeling overwhelmed with so much happening, so many like in my head bad things happening in the last like months really. And it's so overwhelming. I've been trying to like do better with my faith and having faith in God that things will change and stuff like that. Spending more time with them because I'm one of those people, I didn't realize it but I suck at like releasing things to God. Like I would always try to find a way to fix it. If I needed more money, I would work more or like do a side hustle or start a business or something like that. Instead of, you know, it's nothing wrong with doing those things, but I feel like I would take it into my hands to fix things rather than like just wait for God to move. And right now I'm in a season where I'm trying to wait for God to move, but it literally feels like <laughs> it's not going to happen. And not because I don't have faith, it's just because I'm not used to sitting and waiting while like everything is on fire for something good to happen. And this is extremely, extremely hard for me. It's overwhelming. I don't have like any friends really. Like I've been praying to God about it and like trying to stay faithful, but it is a hard season. It's so hard to just take your hands off for some people. For me, I know it is because I've always had this fear of making the wrong decision and going back to one. And square one was really bad place for me. Like I didn't have anything. And I just woke up, so I just threw this wig on. And I'm just like, God, I'm giving it to you. God, I'm giving it to you. God, I'm giving it to you, y'all. I have so much stuff going on. Like it's so much stuff that I know I can't even fix. <laughs> it's so hard when you like physically can't see a way for it to be fixed and to stay positive and to keep faith. Just keep pushing anyway. Like y'all, I feel like I've been in this season for like at least, or feeling like this, at least a year or two. Like, and I know some people are grateful or like blessed to have not have had to go without things and stuff like that. That the fear of going without and the scarcity mindset is a bit, is a thing. If you used to like having to worry about not having things, like basic things, it does something to your mind as you get older. It alters the way you look at money and stuff like that. Like, I also don't want to be like one of those YouTubers just on here sobbing, but I feel like vulnerability is needed. My life is not, it's not perfect. I struggle with things all the time. I struggle with things alone a lot. And I used to do it because I really didn't have people that were really trying to pour into me to make sure I was okay and things like that. Growing up, so I'm used to being alone, but it's such a heavy feeling to just feel alone and just have you and your problems, you know? So I try to like pray and like give it to God and stuff like that. This just feels like a lot. And I keep praying and it just, it feels like, it feels like, and I don't want to say it is because I don't want to speak it, but it feels like every day is something else due or something else I need to be doing or somebody doing something or I, I don't want to get super specific but it just piles up every day every day and within like seven days I swear I'm just like I, so yeah when I'm having my down days this is what I feel like like I just want to stay in the bed and cry and the other thing is y'all I can't really cry like A couple tears have come out, but on the inside, I feel like I want to sob for hours and hours and hours. Have y'all dealt with that before? I don't know what that's called. I think it's because I'm so used to, like, growing up, it was like, you know, suck it up type thing. I think I'm so used to, like, sucking it up that I don't know how to cry anymore. That's kind of, that sounds real bad, but I know some people probably can relate to what I'm talking about. I want to let it out and people say release, release, release. And I be trying to release, but as soon as a teardrop, I feel embarrassed or I feel like... Girl, suck it up, cause um, I feel like it's been like programmed or something for me to be like that. But I be feeling really, really excessively sad and can't even cry. That's rough. It feels like nothing's working. It feels like with jobs, I just keep getting positions where I'm like, have to like basically kill myself to make barely any money. Like, <laughs> and then I had to pay for that with my body, like in issues and stuff like that. Like I can't, that's not sustainable. Um, it feels like the business is like, eh, that's not sustainable. It feels like the digital project products are like 
eh, like that's not sustainable. I'm just like, I don't, I'm not like a, oh, I'm not, I won't have a nine to five girly. Like, I would love a good nine to five with benefits. Like, I don't really, I'm not like that. Like, however God blesses me, but I can't keep letting jobs break me because I'm scared of just losing things. And it's like, I'm losing things anyway. <laughs> Even with doing all this work. I'm nowhere near where I want to be even with doing all this work for all these years. So, at that point, it's just like, what is even the point? <laughs> like, what is even the point of putting all this work in? These are my thoughts. This is what I'm dealing with. With not having the space to take breaks. And when I have the space to take breaks, I have to worry about what I'm going to not be able to pay or what I'm going to be able to not do if I'm taking a break or relaxing. Like, I haven't had a vacation. Like, I ain't had a true vacation in it ever. I'm 30. Honestly, I don't know what else to say. I'll turn this back on if I think there's something else to say, but...